Hi everybody, it's Amber Hug here. I'm a regional education manager for Schwarzkopf Professional. I live in the Chicagoland area. And today I'm excited to talk to you guys about how to use Agora Real. So Agora Real is Schwarzkopf Professional's permanent hair color line, and it is the mister of the line. Mr. being Agora Real, Mrs. being a demi-permanent of Vibrance. I'm only gonna focus on Agora Real today and how to use it. So starting with the slide you're seeing here on the screen, Agora Real is Schwarzkopf Professional's 360 degree color perfectionist. And the reason I say that is if you're looking at all the different boxes, you can see that we have shades to match anything that you could possibly need. The core line is mainly just this red box that you're seeing there in the middle. But as you go to the left on the slide, you're going into a high lift, then a age series, and then also another fashion light high lift series. So everything to the left of the red box is going to be specialty categories and everything to the right are fashion shades. So we will be talking about those a little bit more uh, later on in this presentation, but just to explain the core line is these red boxes, but I will explain why we have different colored boxes later on in the presentation. But first, I wanna to talk to you guys about the technology of Agora Real and why you need to use it. So the Agora Real hair concept is a HD technology. So HD technology, high definition technology, what does that mean in a hair color? If you think back to TVs, back in the day, TVs used to be, you could watch football and you would see it, but it might be kind of blurry. You'd see the players, see the green grass, but it wasn't super clear. Now with an HD TV, you can see the muscle tone on the football players. You can actually count the blades of grass. So how does that relate to hair color? Well, Agora Real used to be a fantastic hair color line. It did the job we needed. It would cover white hair, but it just didn't have the vibrancy and it didn't have the maximum coverage that we have now. So when we introduced our high definition technology, we created a clearer tone direction, true to swatch results. And what that means is that if a level five is put on a swatch, it's put on a level five swatch, not on a white swatch. So you know exactly what that color is going to look like. And you're gonna get that amplified intensity and maximum coverage. All of that is due to something called our lipid carrier system. Now, where do you think you might find that lipid carrier system? Well, that is going to be oil that we have in our developers. So if you look at this slide here, you can see that in 2006, we had mainly water in our developers and just a little bit of oil. Now in 2013, with our high definition technology, we have about equal parts of water and oil. So what that does is it gives us less dilution of those active ingredients, making it so that we get better pigment concentration, longer lasting coverage, more vibrant coverage, more vibrant shades, and overall lifting performance along with the sealing effect. So I'm gonna give you guys a challenge. Once you're done watching this video, because this will be up on YouTube, I challenge you to take two glasses of water, one most of the way with water and one halfway with water. The rest of the glass fill with vegetable oil. Then you're going to take whatever your favorite shade of food coloring is, and you're going to put five drops in each glass. Now go ahead and take a guess, which glass once stirred up is going to have a more vibrant hair color, or not hair color, but color in the water. And if you guessed that the one with more oil would be a more dense and better result, you are absolutely correct. So that gives you a good visual as to how this works. So it's very important that if you are using Agora Real, that you are using the dedicated developers of Agora Real with your colors because it is meant to create this improving technology that we have, and that's what's gonna give you the maximum benefit of Agora Real. Now, as we get started, one of the most important parts of learning the uh, brand is knowing the number system. So Schwarzkopf Professional or Agora Real and everything within our brand is on a number system. And in that number system, your number before the dash is the same as everywhere else. It is your color or your depth. And then there's always two to three numbers after the dash. And those two to three numbers are put in different orders. If I told you that you had to learn a new language, but that language is only 10 words put in different orders, do you think you could learn that language pretty quickly? 
I think I could. And I think the same stands for the Agora Rael number system. It's only 10 numbers put in different orders. And for me, I like to think of it as I'm starting with neutral and natural. So zero is nothing. And then my lower numbers, so one to three are my cooler shades. Four to six are warmer shades. Seven to nine are reds. So if you think of it that way and categorize it, if it's a lower number, it's either natural or neutral, or like an ash neutral. And then my mid shades are gonna be warmer and then my last shades will be red. So I've created this here for you. So on this chart, dash zero is going to be a natural, which is a neutral tone direction, which is why I chose brown for that. Our dash zero is not too warm or too cool. It's truly a natural. And if you look on the color circle, you'll actually see that it sits right here in between this yellow and this green. So it's truly a neutral color direction. Dash one is our Sandre. That is a blue violet color direction. So blue violet, think of levels eight and above having yellow orange. So dash one or blue violet would pick out that yellow orange. Dash two then is ash, which is a blue color direction. So think of levels five to seven. You're typically fighting orange at those levels. So your uh, blue is going to counteract that. So you'll see that in the levels five to seven. Dash three then is matte, which is our green color direction. So think of levels four and below, you're fighting red. So you'll see dash three or green there. So notice we have three different cool tone directions, which is super important because you can actually choose the ash that you need for your job. So dash zero neutral, then our cool shades. Dash four then is beige. Beige is a muted gold. So think of what does mute, what does it mean to mute gold? And if you think like a blue violet is going to mute gold, so we've got a softer gold direction. So then dash five then is going to be our gold, which is gonna be a yellow color direction. Dash six is chocolate or warm brown. So it's called chocolate, but it's warm brown. And I like to think of warm brown as a cinnamon color. And if you look here, you can see that I've got like a blue or like a brown and an orange to create that because it's almost got a copper reflection. And again, if we look at the color circle, you're going to see those over here in the orange area is where you'll see dash six. So it's more of kind of a warm brown reflection or like I like to call it cinnamon. So then dash seven is going to be our copper. That's going to be your orange color direction. Dash eight is red and dash nine is violet. So again, if you think of it, starting at dash zero, that's natural or neutral. And then your lower shades are going to be your cooler shades and then your warm shades and then you've got your reds. So you'll see that we have the color circle here too. And I wanna make sure that you know that the color circle is also super important in formulating because every single color that we have in Schwartz Club Professional is located on this color circle. So looking in the middle here, you'll see that our darker shades start in the middle. So that would be like level one and towards the outside are our lighter shades. And so on the exterior then are direct shades. So zero dash to two, for instance, which is blue is gonna sit over here on the outside because it doesn't have a level. So darkest in the center and then coming to the outside will be your lighter shades. But we wanna know um, how much tone are you going to see? So we're gonna talk about what number order these are in. So if we're looking at a box of color, that first number before the dash is going to be your depth or your level. That first number after the dash then is going to be that primary color direction. And I like to think of that as approximately two parts of that color direction. The second number is going to be your secondary color direction, which is approximately one part of that color direction. So in the example that you're seeing on this slide, it's showing you five dash six, eight. So that's a level five and that's a chocolate red Think of it as more chocolate than red. So it's a really intense chocolate shade, but has a red reflection to it. So it is going to be primary color is about two parts of the color direction and secondary is approximately one part. So moving on from there, next I wanna to talk to you about developers because it's super important to know what developers to use for what job. So we have developers, and just like any other color brand, we have 10 volume, 20 volume, 30 volume, and 40 volume. Your 10 volume is gonna mainly be for deposit, and you can get 100% white coverage on fine hair with 10 volume. So it's mainly for deposit and tone on, uh, 
mainly for deposit and going darker. 20 volume then is what we use across the board for the most part for white coverage. And it's also going to be great for tone on tone coloration and up to two levels of lift, which is why you see the arrow going up to two levels. Then our 30 volume is up to three levels of lift. And in some cases, we do need 30 volume for white coverage, which we'll cover later in this presentation. But in your high lift series, you'll see on the right hand side on that chart, in the high lifts, your 30 volume can actually get you up to four levels of lift. And then your 40 volume can get you up to four levels of lift in the regular line and up to five levels of lift in the high lift series. So those are your developers and how to use those. But I think it's also super important that we talk about the most important part of Agora Real is white coverage. So I want to talk about the fact that there are actually on this slide, you'll see four, but we're going to talk about that. But four core lines that actually give you 100 percent white coverage on their own. So without mixing anything else in with them, they're going to give you 100 percent white coverage without mixing anything else in using your 20 volume developer. Now that's going to be your dash zero, which is your natural or neutral dash one, which is that sandre or blue violet color direction dash four, which is that beige and dash six, three, which is a chocolate matte. So the reason that's important is because for instance, with my copper colored hair, it used to be more vibrant. If I wanted to keep the reflection of this color, so say I chose 7-77, level 7 copper extra, and I really wanted to see that intensity of that shade. I didn't want to brown it out, but I needed 100% white coverage. I can actually mix my 7-77 with a dash 4, which is a beige, and maintains that reflection. So instead of browning it out with a dash 0 natural neutral, I can keep that warmth and reflection. By the same token, say I had a cooler shade, Say I'm doing 4-99, that's what I want. That's a level four violet extra and I want it to be a cool violet. Well, if I add dash zero or natural, then I'm going to brown it out. So I have the option to mix in my dash one, which is my sandre, that blue violet color direction. That way I'm still getting that cooler color direction, not browning it out. Now let's talk about how much of my natural do I need to add to get that 100% coverage. With our uh, Agora Riel, it's actually gonna be two parts of a fashion shade, which is anything other than these four numbers that you're seeing is considered a fashion shade minus a dash zero zero, which we'll talk about in a minute, but anything other than these four shades is considered a fashion shade. So it's always two parts of your fashion shade to one part of anything that covers white. So any of these four shades can be mixed in with your formulation. So for example, if I wanted 7-77, for instance, as my base, or let's say 7-57, so that gold copper, I can do, say, 30 grams of my 7-57, and then I only need 10 grams of my 7-4 or 7-0. And then I'll do equal parts developer, so 30 plus 10 equals 40 grams, so it'd be 40 grams of my Agora Real 20 volume developer, and I get 100% coverage. But what about those clients that have super coarse white hair and it's super resistant? Sometimes I feel like maybe the regular dash zero is not quite enough to give me that coverage, so I might need some additional pigment weight. That's when I'm going to use my dash zero zero series. The dash zero zero is our natural extra shade. There is 25% more pigment within a dash zero zero than there is in the regular Agora Real. So anytime you see dash zero zero, that's for that coarse white hair client. They need that extra coverage. So with the 25% more pigment, you're going to get that. Now I want to talk about, if you look at the developer on this slide, it says that it's 30 volume is recommended except for when you're under nine or over 90% white. So if you're 90 to hundred percent white, it's 20 volume. If you are only like, if you're under 90% white, you do need 30 volume, and I'm going to explain why. So this is a tube of color. In a tube of color, you have color pigments, right? So think of those color pigments as being deflated balloons. So I have all these deflated balloons, but in dash zero zero, I have 25%. So I have more of these deflated balloons, so there's more density. When a balloon is deflated, it's super dense and rich in color. But as you inflate it, it becomes more sheer. So 
stay with me here. So if I am inflating my balloon to 20 volume, that's perfect if I'm 90 to 100% white because there's zero pigment in that hair and I need that density. So 90 to 100% white, I only need to blow that balloon up to 20 volume to cover that 100% white hair because I need to add that pigment back in. But say I take that same amount and I put it on a pigmented strand of hair, that hair is already pigmented. So at 20 volume, it might look more dense or deeper. So I need to blow that balloon up with 30 volume to create more sheerness so that on pre-pigmented hair, it doesn't look too deep. So that is why you need to use 30 volume under 90% white. So it may mean that my client needs 20 volume in the front where she's all white and 30 volume in the back to get a great end result. Now the benefit to Dash Zero Zero is it also can be mixed with anything else in the Agora Real line. So I can actually mix it with any other fashion shade. So if my client does have coarse resistant hair, I can actually mix say uh, 4-1-3 with my 4-00 and know I'll get 100% white coverage and it will cover that coarse resistant white hair. And it's still following the two parts of your fashion shade to one part of that dash 00 to achieve that 100% white coverage and get that extra coverage. So next I wanna to talk to you though about fashion shades. The one thing that Schwarzkopf Professional is great at is having a variety of fashion shades. So what I want to do now is kind of walk you through our Agora Real swatch book just quickly. Um, this is the Agora Real swatch book. This is what you're going to get when you, if you get a large Agora Real order, this is the book that you would get. And in this book, it makes it super easy to use because in the front you have instructions for use over here on the right. And then on the left, you have an index. So that index is showing you where you can find things. So over here, you've got the naturals, then you've got your golds, your red. So if I want to find something, I can simply go to that tab and find the shades on that tab. So something else that I want to show you real quickly is that in this book, these swatches are pretty easy to get out. All you're going to do is tilt this over and then pull this up. And on the bottom of this swatch, you're going to see that it shows you your percentage white coverage. So if you're like Amber, I can't remember which shades give me 100% white coverage. That little gray stripe at the bottom will tell you your percentage white coverage. And then on the top, it tells you dash zero, which is natural or neutral. And this book categorizes things really well. But just a quick little tip for you in the salon, the top of your swatch should match the top of that book in order to keep this in order. Because these swatches come out, if you have a lot of stylists, sometimes they don't get put back in the right way. So if you're looking at the top of the swatch, it should match the top of the book. So that way it makes it easy for you to reorganize your book if you need to. So your first page is your naturals or your neutrals. You've got your dash zero, dash zero, zero, dash one, which is your uh, Sandre. And then we also have a Sandre plus, which is gonna be the dash one, one, dash one, two, and dash one, three. So that's gonna be your Sandre extra, your blue, violet, blue at a level six, and then your Sandre matte. So that's gonna have that green at a level four. So these will be the coolest shades in the core line for Bora Riel. Moving into the next page, we have our true golds. In our golds, you'll see we have a dash four, which is going to be that beige tone. So you can see how it's more of a soft gold. So it's a muted gold shade. Then you have your dash five, which is your gold. Notice that there's a dash five five. When you see dash five five, that's gold extra. That means there's more intensity to that gold shade. So in our golds, we have everything from a level four all the way up to a level nine. One of my personal favorites, our dash five seven is going to be our gold copper. So for those clients that say they want a natural auburn tone, this is perfect for them. If they said I had auburn hair when I was younger, I wanna go back to my natural because there's more gold and copper, those are perfect for that. Now, one thing you'll notice in your book is you have one swatch that says mixes. If it says mixes, that is not a color we have. It just means it's a color that you can make. So on the back, it tells you how you can mix and formulate for that. So when you see mixes, it's just giving you ideas of colors. So moving on to the next page, we have our chocolates. We have our dash six. So remember I said this is a cinnamon tone. So do you see that cinnamon color that I'm talking about there? So it gives you just like a cinnamon or more of that warm brown reflection. So then over here is our dash six three. I like to think of these as the Kardashians of the line because they're that really rich chocolate, but you're not gonna see red. 
And we've all had that client that comes in and says, I want to see chocolate, but I don't want to see red. Dash 6.3 is perfect for that. Dash 6.5, I love using this for a low light because if you're doing a low light on a blonde, sometimes you need that gold to really fill the hair and you still get this really rich end result. Also, this is a rich chocolate shade, but instead of a red reflection, it's more of a true gold reflection. Dash 6.8 then is going to be my chocolate red. So I like to call these the cherry cola of the line because if you get a cherry cola, you can see that it looks like a rich chocolate color, but then when the light hits it, you see that red reflection. Same thing for these shades. And there's level three all the way to level six. They're another one of my favorites for somebody who just wants to have a rich chocolate color, but maybe a hint of a red reflection. Then my personal favorite page is our reds. What I love about our reds is they're categorized. So we have our coppers here, which our coppers are dash seven. Notice the dash seven seven, the copper extra is more intense. So a dash seven is a natural copper, dash seven seven being copper intense. The reds within Agora Real are going to be truly red. So they're not a warm red, they're not a cool red, they're that true red. So you don't have to add a violet into this to get a great red shade, on its own it is. So you see level four to level six of the dash 88 or red extra. Then you'll see your violets here, and that's our dash 99. So level four dash 99 all the way to level six. And then we also have a nine dash 98, which is gonna be kind of a magenta shade. And then you'll see on this, there's actually a lot of mixes on the reds page, which I love. So they've given you a lot of options, which I like to show my clients this swatch because a lot of times they don't want just copper or just red, they might want a combination. Your next page is your true high lifts, which we'll cover a little bit later. Then we also have a section for true absolutes, which we're gonna cover a little bit later on as well. And then on your back page are your specialties and neutralizers. So we're gonna get into all of that later on. I just wanted to show you those fashion shades so that you guys get an idea what those are. So next, what I wanna talk about is that we've actually not just had the regular fashion shades, but one thing that Schwarzkopf Professional does really well is that when we see shades that are super popular on the runway or different fashion trends that we're seeing, we'll create fashion line extensions accordingly. So remember when I said not all of Agora Real has a red box, your box color is going to determine what your shade is. So on this slide, you're seeing, first of all, your nude tones. The nude tones are dash four six. Dash four six is going to be that beige chocolate. So you can see by looking at this swatch that you've got a little bit more smokiness to these shades. And this whole trend was based upon nude makeup, nude shoes, nude fingernails. So it was all based upon that. So you can see this little bit of smokiness. I call these kind of a, a smoky chocolate because you've got that beige first and then you've got the chocolate. So that's the first of the line. And then the second one is opulescence. Opulescence is based upon the Renaissance time frame, which is why the box has this really beautiful painting. So if you look at the box, it looks like a Renaissance painting. And it's that way because these colors mimic shades that you would see in Renaissance paintings. So you can see we have a really deep rich. This is a dash one nine, which is going to be a Sandre Violet, really pretty deep shade with Sandre Violet uh, reflection to it. But you can see we've got a really pretty russet shade here. This one I like to call Florence in the Machine because it's a, a copper red. So it's a really pretty shade. This one is going to be more of um, almost like a rose gold. It's a dash four eight, which is going to be that beige red. And so it almost gives you that little bit of a rose gold. 8-19 can be used as a corrective color or as fashion shade. On pre-lightened hair, it's going to have that smoky lilac. But if you have a lot of yellow, that violet will pick out the unwanted yellow and leave a beautiful, cool end result. And then 9-57, really beautiful for a natural strawberry blonde as well. Now this year, you might have seen that we had a new line come out and it's called our Raw Essentials. Our Raw Essentials are going to be those cool brunette shades. So maybe you knew this, maybe you didn't, but the second most popular client in your chair or most popular color is brunettes. Blonde leading, brunettes is next. So we've actually created some cool brunette shades because that's actually what we were seeing. So in this, we have our dash one six, which is our earthy clay. I like to think of these as a mushroom brown because that sandre in here, that blue violet is more intense. 
And so in this shade, you get that almost smokiness to it, but then you get the richness of the chocolate giving almost a mushroom brown. Then the Dash 2-1 are the coolest of our brunette shades, level five and level seven. Use them as corrective color, or if you want a fashion blue violet, you can see they really reflect that blue color really well. So if I'm lifting somebody from a level four to a level seven, for example, this is an ash, which is blue. So it's gonna kick out that unwanted orange and really give me a neutral tone. By the same token, if I did a shadow root with this, I get this lady almost blue color end result. Now, there's one more that just came out that's not on this slide called our Muted Desert Shades. These are really pretty for a natural level seven or level nine hair color. Look how natural these look. My hair color naturally is a what used to be called dishwater blonde. It's got that ashiness to it, but still a little bit of warmth. And that's what these shades mimic. It's so hard to get those cool, elegant beiges that don't reflect too much warmth. And these are going to be that. So we have our dash two four, which is gonna be the ash beige. That's gonna be the coolest of them. It, they look almost green, uh, not green, almost like a gray color with a beige reflection. But then if that's a little bit too cool, you've got the dash four two that has that beige first and then that ash. So those are the fashion line extensions that we had, and those happen pretty frequently. But also we have one other fashion line extension that I gave its own slide to because there's three segments to it and I think it can get a little bit confusing. A lot of you might have an old swatch that has all of these shades on it. Just know that the, the ones you're seeing on the screen now are the ones that we have. So on that 11-89, that's a high lift shade. So that's gonna give you up to three levels of lift on a base level six or lighter. It needs to be used on virgin hair to achieve that. And it's meant to be used with our 40 volume developer and a one-to-one -one mixing ratio. So that P, that P before the 11 just means pearlescence. It doesn't mean anything else. So the 11 means it's a high lift. P6 series, there's two shades and I'll just call them emerald green and magenta. Um, those two are iridescent pearl effects for dark blonde bases. It says bases five and lighter. I recommend bases five to seven with 10 volume. If you're doing lighter bases than that, the P6-23, which is a blue green, is gonna look more teal. And then the P6-89 would be magenta. So they'll still be beautiful shades, but they'll just be a little bit more intense than what the swatch has. But those are meant to be used with 10 volume in a one-to-one -one mixing ratio and your processing time for both the P6 series and the P11 is going to be 30 to 45 minutes. 30 for fine hair, 45 for coarse. Then you have your P9.5 series. When you see 9.5, that does not mean a level nine and a half. It means it's more translucent. It is a toner meant to be put on a base level nine or above. So again, P, for pearlescence, 9.5 means toner. We have a light pink toner and then also a, a lilac toner. So the 2.9 is that blue violet, that's the lilac, and the 8.9 is a red violet, which is going to be that pink toner. Because they are toners, again, base level nine or above, only 10 volume developer, and these need to be on for up to 30 minutes on the hair. So your processing time is not as much because it is a toner. Now, the next part of this line is our Agora Royal Takeover. So I want to tell you the concept behind this. So you've all gone shopping at Macy's. And you know at Macy's, sometimes you'll see, for instance, Michael Kors will create a line just specific to Macy's. And so they've created that fashion line, and it's for Macy's. So that's a co-collaboration. So what Schwarzkopf Professional did last year is we created our own co-collaboration. And we had social media artists, and they paired up with our artists for Schwarzkopf Professional to create these fashion line extensions that were not just based on the runway, but also based upon colors that we're seeing on social media. So you'll see here, we have several different names you might recognize. Um, uh, in the Dusted Rouge collection, we've got Leslie Jennison and Jean-Philippe created this collection. In the Dusted Rouge, is John Philippe is known for his redheads. Leslie Jennison is our global ambassador for hair color, and they created one of my favorite line extensions, and that's these Dusted Rouge shades. So one thing I wanna point out is there are three numbers after the dash on these. Don't let that confuse you. Still think that first number is going to be that primary color direction, second number is the secondary, and then the third number is simply going to be that reflection color. So in this instance, 
the reflection color is beige, so that beige means it's a warmer reflection. So then we have a 9-674. This one's a really pretty strawberry blonde again, but a little bit softer. This one is a kind of a rosewood effect. So you can see it has that little hint of that rosiness. This one right here is going to be a natural strawberry, not strawberry blonde, but auburn. So I love this for a natural auburn where they don't want too much warmth because it's got a copper first, then chocolate and a beige reflection. It's a very natural shade. A shade I used to use all the time is 7-982. This one I like to call a, a cool magenta shade. This one's super pretty for somebody who wants a really vibrant, cool magenta. Then down here, we have 6-491. This one's just a really pretty shade that has just a little hint of that violet. It sits on the cooler side, but because of the beige, it has a little bit of warmth. And then this one has a really deep, rich shade. It almost gives you that cherry cola effect. So they're lived in red shades because we're noticing that people aren't wanting like super vibrant reds right away. They're sometimes wanting something more lived in. So that was that collection. Next is disheveled nudes. I love the Disheveled Nudes collection, but one thing I want you to know is in this collection, they're not just fashion shades. We also have a High Lift series, which is the 12 series. And down here, we have a toner, which is the 9,5 or 9.5 series. So I like to think of these as almost different shades of khaki for the hair. Maybe that doesn't sound good to you. Maybe you think different shades of wheat, but if you think of khakis, you've got gray khaki, you've got green khaki, caramel khaki, warm khaki, tons of different shades. So that's why I say these are kind of khaki shades for the hair. Now, fun fact, I actually have two of these shades in my hair. So I have actually got a combination of, I have the 8-176, two parts, and one part of the 9-481. Those two mixed together are what you're seeing for my base color here with 20 volume. So I do love the disheveled nude shades. I used to be in the Dusted Rouge collection, but I've now switched to this, uh, but I really love the results. But one shade that I would say, if you don't have it, 8-211 is one of my absolute favorites. It is going to be a slate gray. So it's going to be the coolest. It is that ash first and then Sandre extra. So it's really great for a slate gray shadow root. Or again, if I'm lifting somebody from a level four to a level eight, that two, that ash is really gonna kick out the unwanted warmth. Then the high lift series, again, is gonna give you that up to five levels of lift. And then you've got your toner meant for a level nine and above. And then the last but not least collection is our Lucid Nocturne. So I'll just pull this up while we've got this um, here. So our Lucid Nocturnes are gonna be those deep, rich shades. I like to think of them almost as city lights at night. So these shades are going to be dark and rich and almost like oil slick colors. So we have in here, one of my favorites is the 3-222. So hard sometimes to find that really true blue black. 3-222 is going to be that. So in this, we've got kind of a deep, rich violet shade. We've got a really pretty emerald green. You've got a, a teal or like, sorry, this is the deep emerald green. This one here is almost like a ruby red with a little bit of a violet hint to it. This is a very neutral brown. So if you're looking for a really pretty neutral brown, and then this one is going to be kind of an aluminum grape shade. So these can be used on darker levels. If you're looking for a little bit more intensity, then I would pre-lighten, but only pre-lighten to a level eight, not to pale yellow because you need that little bit of background in order to achieve that result. Now, all of these that are not high lift or toners are going to be fashion shades. So they will achieve 70% achieve white coverage on their own. And they can be mixed with any 100% white shade in order to achieve 100% white coverage. So now that we've talked about some different fashion shades, let's get into some of our high lift series. So our highlights are going to be just that. You'll see on the screen that we have six different shades, but we have two different high lift series. So you'll notice that we have a blue box for the high lifts. The blue stands for the fact that we made these cooler tones, but also notice you'll see there's a little hexagon on the box. That little hexagon says fiber or fiber bond technology inside. So our high lift series is the first ever high lift that has a bonding technology inside the tube of color already. So what that means for you is that if you're using any sort of plex, whether it's fiber plex, or you're just adding a bonding agent of any sort to your color or your lightener, you don't need to add it to our high lifts because it's already added for you. So we are actually with this color protecting bonds as we're lifting. So the 10 series is going to achieve up to four levels of lift and it has a long lasting neutralization. So the 10 series has a lot of neutralization for it, which is why you see it's recommended for bases seven and above. 
if you think about it, at a base seven and I'm up to four levels, then I'm going to for sure get up to a level 10. And because I have extra neutralization, sometimes those four levels can look a little less just because I've got more tonal. And anytime you see a cool shade, that usually means a little bit more depth to the eye. So level seven and above, this is perfect for. Actually, this would be great for me if I didn't already have my hair colored because these are meant for virgin hair. If I had done wanted to go blonde, my hair is a level seven naturally. I have light eyes and light skin. I'd be a perfect candidate for the 10 series because it's meant for virgin hair. If I was already blonde, I could literally just retouch my hair and I could use 40 volume because I'm a level seven. But if I was a level eight or above, I could get away with 30 volume. And it's a one-to-one -one mixing ratio, 30 to 45 minutes. With this, it's 30 minutes on fine hair and 45 for coarse. I would say the most popular color is that 10-2-1 that you're seeing there. It has a lot of neutralization and will give you that really cool icy color on somebody who has lighter features like me. But if somebody had darker features, just remember you might need even more pigment weight or it could be a little bit warmer. But if you need that extra lift, say your client's a level six, not a level seven, and you want to get them blonde, but you don't want to use a lightener on them. That's when you'd want to use the 12 series. The 12 series gives you that extra lift. So you're getting more manpower. You're getting that extra lift. So with that, if you think of it, if I'm getting that much more lift, it's hard to have as much neutralization. So while there's neutralization, there's going to be less neutralization in the 12 series than there is in the 10 series. So your biggest difference between the two is that my 10 series is going to be four levels of lift and a lot of control. And my 12 series series is going to be maximum lift, less control. Now, one thing I do want to point out is that 12 series is mixed, and it's the only part of anything that Schwarzkopf has to offer that is mixed one part color to two parts developer. Across the board, everything that we have to offer is a one-to-one -one mixing ratio, but this one is one to two. So whenever I see the 12 on the box, I'll see that 12, and I already know one to two. It's like that 12 is telling me one part color to two parts developer. So this would be perfect for maybe somebody who is a level six and you don't want to use a lightener on them because it does need to be virgin hair. So it's going to be highlights on virgin hair or of a high lift retouch, or maybe somebody has been doing a bleach and tone, but they're a perfect candidate for a high lift. Instead, they want to switch to color. Then the 12 series would be perfect as the retouch for that. So again, one to two mixing ratio, 30 to 45 minute processing time. So again, 10 series is meant for level seven and above, up to four levels of lift, maximum neutralization. If I'm looking for maximum lift, that's my 12 series, and it's going to still give me neutralization, but less neutralization than what I'm getting in the 10. Now, what if I have a client who's a level six or darker and still wants highlights, and maybe she has previously colored hair? Oh no, what do I do now? Well, that's where our fashion lights come in. So these fashion lights, notice the box is a purple box. That doesn't mean anything other than the fact that it's a fashion light. These are our L series, L standing for lifting. Um, so these fashion lights or lights, whatever you wanna call it, also have that little hexagon on them. So they also have that fiber bond technology in them. If you're looking, it's going to say L-22 or L-44. These are going to give you up to five levels of lift and tone even on previously colored hair. So just to give you an example, I brought a little buddy with me to show you the, how this works. So this is actually the L-77 mixed with 40 volume developer, and I highlighted some pieces in through her hair. Now, this is a mannequin. Her hair was this dark. I did not put any color on her. She came this dark. So if I was able to achieve this much lift on her, you know that her hair was previously colored. It gives you a really great example of what this can do. So I just wanted to show you that so you can see how well these work, but they do give you up to five levels of lift and tone in one step, even on previously colored hair. Now that being said, they are off scalp only. They are meant to be foiled in or balayaged in. And they are meant to be mixed in a one-to-one -one mixing ratio with our 40 volume developer. As a reminder, virgin hair always lifts quicker than previously colored. So if you had virgin hair here and previously colored here, you might want 30 volume here and 40 volume in the ends, 
or you could just recolor her hair first and put this on. Also, somebody who's been doing level one box color for years, this may not be a good product for them because it's not gonna lift through years worth of built up color. It's going to be gentle color that you've had or gentle colored bases, but they are intermixable. So if I wanted to get a copper red, I can mix my L-77 with my L-88 and I can get a really pretty copper red. So we have several different shades, but L-00 is going to be no pigment weight. So it actually can be mixed with any of your shades to also dilute them. Now they're not meant to be mixed with anything in the Agora Real line. So a purple box stays within a purple box. We don't mix it with another box. But these are amazing and it's something that people forget about. But what if you can give somebody highlights in one step that are red? And so I have loved having these in the portfolio and the L just stands for lights. There's no level because if I'm at a level two, I might only get up to say a level seven. If I'm at a level four, I might only I might be able to get all the way up to a level nine. So always think of your starting point as to how bright you're going to get. But we do have a green, a blue, we have a red violet lots of different fashion shades. Now I talked about the fiber bond technology or the hexagon that you're seeing on these. So your step one is already built into those products protecting those bonds. If you know bonding services, you know there's usually a step two. So there's also a step two here and that is this bond sealer. So your bond sealer is going to be put on the hair after you shampoo out your color. So if I did the high lift series, for instance, I would shampoo out the high lift series towel dry the hair really well, apply my bond sealer through mid, mid lengths to ends. It sits on the hair for five to 10 minutes, simply rinse it from the hair, and then follow up with your favorite conditioner. This is meant to create bonds and seal them in. So step one is protecting the bonds. Step two then is creating bonds and sealing them in. And so again, just your second to last step, you're gonna shampoo the hair, then apply the bond sealer evenly through towel dried hair, and then you'll put your final conditioner on that hair as well. So this bond sealer is something that if you don't have it yet, I highly recommend bringing it into the salon because you will upcharge. This is where you can upcharge. Because that bond sealer is in the color already and you don't have to add it in, you're gonna make that money back by doing that step two at the shampoo bowl. So next up, we wanna talk about some of the different uh, specialty categories that we also have. So one of them being our pastels. So pastels, think of that as toners. So remember I said earlier, nine comma five or 9.5 does not mean a level nine and a half. It means that pigment weight is more translucent, which means that there's not as much pigment weight and it needs to be put on a level nine or above. We do have pastels or toners within Agora Riel because there's always a use to still have toners in a permanent hair color line. Now, these are part of our permanent line, which means there is a little bit of ammonia in them. So while they are going to tone, just know that they could shift the natural base of the hair. And actually, one of my favorite things to use these for is a base bump and toning highlights at the same time. So 9.5-1 is my go-to for that. And it's going to be equal parts 9.5-1 with your 10 volume Boreal developer. And once you've taken out her highlights and shampooed her hair, you'll take that 9.5-1 and put it on any area that you want to see a lift on her base. So shift that base and also tone the highlights at the same time. If you're using it as a base bump, five minutes for fine hair and 10 minutes for coarse hair is perfect. But I love using the permanent toners when I'm doing a base bump or if I haven't quite lifted her enough and I want to try to hope to shift the hair a little bit. I've also used these as a corrective agent. Maybe I did a demi-permanent hair color or a toner and it took too silvery. Because this does have ammonia in it, when you put it on the hair, it's going to open that cuticle just a little bit, allowing the other toner to be released and then it'll put in the pigment weight from here. So I like to also use these as corrective if somebody's, has gone, if somebody's toner went a little bit too intense, these can be great for that. But they are meant for base level nine and above the biggest mistake people make is not lifting their client light enough and telling me that our toners don't work. They work if they're on the right base. So make sure it's a level nine or above. It's a 10 volume developer and a one to one mixing ratio. Your processing time is five to 30 minutes, keeping visual control. These can go on damp or dry hair. 
Now, next we have a couple of uh, really great things that you really need to know about. Uh, so neutralizers, technical neutralizers. So I love talking about these. Um, if you haven't been using neutralizers in the salon, it's a miss. Neutralizers are meant to do just that, neutralize out unwanted tones. So 0-11 is gonna be that blue violet neutralizer. If you think of a level eight, level eight, you're fighting yellow orange. So 0-11 is probably what you would use. You would use about 5% of that color formula to neutralize. That's when I just wanna neutralize, I don't wanna see that tone. Level six and seven, orange is what I'm usually fighting. What, what counteracts orange? Blue. So 0-22 would be my go-to. Add a level five to seven, I can use about 15%, up to 15% of my formula without seeing that blue, just using it to get that neutralization. Levels four and below, or levels one to five, I can use 0-33. So think about it, if I'm level four and below, I'm fighting red. So 0-33 would be my go-to. And levels one to five, I can use up to 15% of my formula. So think five, 15, 25, or 5% add, 10% add 10%. So that's how much of the formula for neutralizing. Now, if I wanted to see blue black, can I add a ton of my 0-22 to my formula? Absolutely. Just remember to add developer in a one-to-one -one ratio accordingly, even with these boosters. So next, let's talk about boosters. So boosters are going to boost your hair color. So for instance, if I wanted a really vibrant red, I could take 6-88 and I can add in my 0-80 to really intensify it. So I can add up to 50% of my formula, but I do need to add developer in a one-to-one -one ratio accordingly. So for instance, if I did 30 grams of 6-88 and 30 grams of 0-88, 30 and 30 equals 60, so it'd be 60 grams of my 10 volume developer. But also notice that this can be used as a pre-pigment tool. So my, zero, my, my gold, my copper, and my red could be pre-pigmentation for the hair. So if I'm going from lighter to darker, so with that, I'm going to do one part of my booster to three parts of warm water. I'm going to apply that to the hair first, and it is going to develop for 20 minutes. And then I would blow dry the hair completely before I put on my final application. So I like to say use a spray bottle, one that's dedicated to gold, one that's dedicated to copper, one dedicated to red. Put your booster in there with the warm water, stir it up really good, then you can simply make your own filler spray. So you could spray that into the hair, comb it through evenly, process this for 20 minutes, rinse from the hair, not shampoo, and then blow dry and apply your form, final formula as needed. But we also have other different tools in the line, if you will. So I wanna to talk to you about our D-0. Our D-0 is our diluter. Think of it as your clear for Agora Real. So in demi-permanence, a lot of times you have something called a clear. Ours is just called a diluter, so it's a D-0. So this is just going to dilute your pigment weight. So one great example of that is in our red series, uh, in the mixes, they have shown you on here, there's a, a 9-888 here, right? So how do you think they achieve that? If I flip this over, it's gonna tell me that it's mixed, right? So it's gonna be the 6-88 mixed with, and you see the 9.5-0, that is not a color we have, that's the D-0. So it'd be three parts of 6-88, so one part of D-0 to achieve this level nine. So it's gonna dilute that formula. And so I am going to add in my developer in a one-to-one -one ratio as well for my diluter, but it's just to shear out my color. So it's probably mostly used in say toners or if I'm trying to get a lighter red shade or I just wanna shear out my tone. So it's just to shear it out, kind of like you're clear. But then we have other tools in the line as well. One of them is a very important tool if you're looking for extra lift and that's our E-0. The E-0 has zero pigment weight. It's simply a lightening extract and it's something that you can add to your formula to achieve one extra level of lift. So for instance, I am taking my client from level four to a level eight because of her dark features. I'm not sure if she can get there. So I wanna add in my E-0 so I can make sure to get that extra level of lift. I can add one third of my formula with E-0 and added developer. So if say 8-11 is what I was using on her, I could use 30 grams of 8-11, 10 grams of E-0 and 40 grams of my 40 volume developer. Now by itself on virgin hair, 
E-0 with 40 volume can achieve up to four levels of lift. So if somebody came in with virgin hair, which how often does that happen? But if they did and I wanted to do highlights and I didn't want any tone direction, I could use E-0 by itself with 40 volume and achieve up to four levels of lift. I have also used this to remove direct dyes, but I only use 20 volume. So if somebody has fashion colors in their hair and before we had our bond enforcing color remover, I would take E-0 with equal parts of 20 volume, usually within five minutes that direct dye would be released because it's just swelling that cuticle and releasing that direct dye pigment. Now we have just one more, well actually two more, um, that I wanna talk about, but E-1 is one that I like to talk about because it is a Sandre additive, which means it's going to give you a cooler end result. This is something I wanna use when I want to go cooler. Uh, somebody who uses this a lot in their formulas is Lynn Fan. On Instagram, he's at bseen. B-E-S-C-E-N-E. -E. He uses this to create a smokiness in his formulas, and that's exactly what it's here for, is to create that coolness. It's almost a gray with a blue-violet reflection to it. So if I'm a base level seven or eight, actually a third of my formula can be E-1 with added developer, but I'm gonna get that really slaty color. So for instance, if I want a really great slaty shadow root, I could take 8-11, for instance, and I can mix in my E-1, and that's gonna give me that really slaty end result. At a base level five and six, half of my formula can be E-1. And if I'm a level four and below, two parts, two thirds of my color formula can be E-1, and only one third can be my desired result. So for instance, if I want a really cool brunette at a level three, I could just say do two parts of E-1 and one part of say 3-19, which is that Sandre Violet. So it is going to be added developer for the amount that you're putting in. So if I did use 30 grams of 6-12, for instance, and 30 grams of E-1, it would be 60 grams of my 10 volume Agora Real developer and a 35, 30 to 45 minute processing time. So for those really cool end results. And then on top of that, like we just talked about these three cool different shade or different tools, if you will. We have a tool that kind of combines those three together. So Pastel Fire is part of the Agora Rail Takeover series. And what this does is it's going to not just dilute your formula, but it's going to give a cooler tone direction and also can create one extra level of lift. So for me, I have replaced my E-0 Lightning Extract with Pastel Fire. Why? Because every time I lift, I want control. And this has a Sandre tone to it. So with it having that coolness already inside and I'm creating that extra lift, I'm already fighting some of that warmth. So it's going to give you an extra level of lift, dilute your formula, and also it's going to have that little Sandre extract. So it's as if D-0, E-0, and E-1 had a baby, it would be pastel fire. Now, one of the best examples of this, I know they're showing you an example on here, but I think this shows it even better. If we're looking at the 7-982, this is it by itself. This is it mixed with four parts pastel fire. So notice it's lighter and dustier. This is then with, uh, this is says it's four parts. I would say this is more one to five and this is more one to 10. So 7-982 is super strong, but this is lighter and dustier yet. So this gives you a really great example of what this can do. And actually it shows it right here too. So the 4-332, with a, two parts pastel fire and then six parts pastel fire. So it really gives you a lighter and dustier shade. And actually it can be mixed with anything in Agora Real. It's not just for the Agora Real takeover shades. It can be mixed with say a chocolate for instance. So maybe I want a really great chocolate melt where the new growth is just my chocolate. The mid area, I can do two parts of pastel fire to get a softer version. And maybe in the ends, I do four parts pastel fire. So I have the opportunity to color melt with pastel fire with any color within our brand, which is amazing. But next, let's talk about some other fun things that you need to know about. So we talked about a bunch of different tools, but I talked about white coverage and sometimes that can get a little confusing. So what if I told you that you don't have to worry about formulating for white coverage because we have an entire segment that are that is going to be pre-blended fashion shades for 100% white coverage for you. That's going to be our Agora Rail Absolutes and our Agora Rail 
absolutes age blank. So your main difference between these two is that the Agora Real Absolutes does not have a stripe on the box, and these are going to be your intense fashion shades. So these are going to be your coppers, your golds, your reds, and your chocolates. And these are going to be vibrant, just like Julia Roberts in Pretty Woman. Her hair was vibrant red, and it looked amazing. If we see Julia Roberts today, she still wears reds, but they're softer, more natural versions. So the regular absolutes are those intense fashion shades, and the age blend are going to be the softer versions that are going to be more skin matching. Now with these, they are mixed a one to one mixing ratio with your 20 or 30 volume. Again, if it's 90 to 100% white, it's 20 volume. If you're under 90% white, it's 30 volume for that same reason because of the dense coverage because there is actually 30% more pigment weight in these shades than there is in Agora Real. And the other thing is these have a pro-age complex in them. That is a combination of silamines and collagen. Silamines are going to smooth that hair cuticle and the collagen is going to fill in those brittle sites. So it's actually going to help with the condition of mature hair. So it's perfect for those clients that want fashion shades, but you don't want to have to worry about formulating for them. You'll notice that your natural is mixed into these shades. So there is a dash zero in all of these shades. You can mix these together. You can mix two shades together, but you cannot mix a gold box with a red box. So don't worry about mixing them. You don't need to. I know I can take this box of 7-10, which is my Sandre Natural, and get that Sandre Natural. I don't have to mix it with anything. I can literally do it on its own. So if you're a little scared of white coverage, or if you're just trying to get white coverage um, and you don't want to have, like, you don't want to have to mix a bunch of things together, you just want something that's going to make the hair feel better, this is going to be the option for you. And again, the age blend has more amounts of that age complex and they're going to be those softer shades. So it's still going to have that 20 volume for 90 to 100 percent white and 30 volume if you're under 90 percent white. Your processing time 30 to 45 minutes. So this is just a tool that you can have so you don't have to formulate for white coverage and they have that 30 percent more pigment weight. So it's really great for that coarse white hair. Now there's something else within the Absolute line that I want to talk about because this is something you don't see in a lot of lines. These are Absolute Silver Whites. They are true tonal refiners for natural silver white hair. They are going to neutralize yellow and brassy tones and enhance the natural white hair. They're meant to be a demi-permanent, even though they sit in Aurora Riel, they have demi-permanent capabilities. They're meant to be used with 10 volume and again, meant to refine natural silver white hair. So if your client just comes in for haircuts and they're complaining because they're not getting the shine they used to have, they're getting like a yellow tone to their hair. There's four different shades, silver, dove gray, gray lilac, and slate gray. Silver is the lightest of the shades. Dove gray and gray lilac sit at a medium gray level and slate gray is going to be that darker shade for more of a gray blending. I like using slate gray for my male clients that just wanna cover up some of their gray hairs or make the gray hairs a little bit darker so they don't stand out as much. Slate gray is perfect for that. I also like using dove gray and gray lilac as low lights in a really white section of the hair to help match the pep, salt and pepper in the back. So it's really great for enhancing natural white hair. They're not meant for unnatural gray hair, but it can be a tool if somebody's growing out their natural and they want to have something in between that blends better. But you're gonna wanna lift that hair to inside of a banana peel yellow first, then pre-tone with a violet shampoo or 9.5-1, then put your silver formula all over everything. And that can get somebody to transition to their natural hair from previously colored hair. So it's a really great tool to help somebody transition and it has the silamine and collagen. So for somebody who just wants to enhance their natural white hair, their hair texture is gonna feel better as well. Don't forget about these tools, they are absolutely amazing. So now let's get into our lighteners. Don't have a ton of time left. So we have two main lighteners. We have our Gora Vario Blonde Plus. This is gonna be a blue powder and it's going to be a creamy consistency. It's on or off scalp, it's on scalp with 10 or 20 volume and off scalp with 30 volume. Your processing time, 20 to 45 minutes. Mixing ratio, one part powder lightener to two parts developer. One of the key takeaways with this is that it's got that fiber plex or fiber bond technology built in. So you do not need to add any what do I want to say, bonding agent into your lightener. 
This is a really great everyday lightener. It's got that blue color to it, but that blue is not toning out. We do have an anti-yellow to this. That blue is just there so that if somebody's looking in the mirror, they don't feel like they see you know, yellow hair. But it's really great for everyday lightening. It's good for on scalp lightening. If I'm doing a global application, great for highlighting and also good for balayage. But you have a second option too. Maybe you don't like Vario Blonde Plus. Maybe you prefer Vario Blonde Super Plus. Now this one is gonna be a white powder. So it's gonna be a white powder. It's a little bit more, it's still a creamy consistency, but it's a little more gritty than the blue powder. And also it doesn't seem to swell as much. You know, sometimes lighteners can swell in a foil. I feel like this one swells less than any other lightener. Um, it's going to give you that one extra level of lift. So eight, up to eight levels of lift. And it's going to be also used with 10, 20, 10 volume or 20 volume on scalp and up to 30 volume for off scalp. Mix one part powder lightener to two parts developer, and it processes for up to 45 minutes. Both of them are really great for everyday lifting. If you're looking for more lifting, watch another YouTube video of our blonde me, but all, these are really great everyday lighteners. I absolutely love them. My favorite is the Vario Blonde Plus, but then Ian Mayer Marzalik loves our Vario Blonde Super Plus. So find your favorite. It's your, gonna be your everyday lightener. Then we have one other tool that I want to talk about, which is our Vario Blonde Cream Lightener. This is an ammonia-free option within Agora Real. Zero ammonia. Instead, it has a serine oil in it that's going to help protect the hair. And it's going to still give you up to six levels of lift. It only needs to be used with 10 or 20 volume developer. It was brought out for hand painting techniques. Because of that serine oil, it stays moist in the hair, so therefore it doesn't dry out. I like using this for global applications. And actually, if you look, it's got a really great blue color to it. So this blue color gives you an anti-red technology. So it's got this anti-red technology. So as it comes out of the tube, it's got this really blue color to it. That's not going to actually turn blue on any previously colored hair. It's just there to help with that anti-red technology. So it kicks out those unwanted tones. So it is mixed with our Agora Real 10 or 20 volume developer and a one to two mixing ratio. It does not have our fiber bond technology in it, but it does have that serine oil to help protect the hair as well. So really great if you don't wanna use ammonia. Then last but not least is our bond enforcing color remover. This is going to be the first step if you need to remove color. It's literally gonna be two sachets. You see sachet A and sachet B. Sachet A is going to be a powder. Sachet B is going to be kind of almost a conditioner. Those two together equal 60 grams and you're going to mix this with either your six volume Vibrance lotion or your 10 volume Agora Real developer. If you're using your six volume activator lotion, you'll get one to two levels of lift. That's my oh crap moment. I just need to shift this out a little bit. So I would mix it with the six volume and that's gonna give me up to two levels of lift. If I'm doing a full corrective color, that's when I would wanna mix it with my 10 volume. That's gonna give me up to three levels of lift. And this is going to process for only up to 20 minutes. So it's your first step to get rid of direct dyes and indirect dyes. It has our fiber bond technology in it to protect those bonds as you're lifting. So the hair feels amazing afterwards, but it is a gentle lightener. So it is going to also lift the natural base as well. So make sure you're starting on the darkest parts of the hair first and applying there on dry hair and then work into the areas that need a little less lift and it's up to 20 minutes keeping visual control. So for the lighteners and for the bond enforcing color remover, your step two is still going to be that post bond sealer that you're using also with your high lift series and your fashion lights. So make sure if you haven't gotten the bond enforcing color remover yet, bring it into the salon. It's amazing and it should be your first step because it's gonna keep you from driving a direct dye into the hair strand by using lightener. So I just wanna say, Thank you guys so much for being here today. I know this is a long video, but hopefully you've learned a lot. Um, in this, I wanna encourage you to go to our ask-elearning.com so that you can go on there and learn even more about our brand. We have tons of digital education on there. Um, we have plenty of digital education corporate wide as well if you need to know more. And then make sure you're following us on Instagram, Schwarzkopf USA, and also on Facebook, Schwarzkopf professional USA. We do tons of lives with techniques and videos there. And then also don't forget to download the House of Color app. The House of Color app helps you formulate. 
It has a virtual color opportunity for you so you can change your hair color or your client's hair color. Uh, so make sure you're using that. And then last but not least, I don't know if you knew this, Schwarzkopf Professional now has a YouTube channel. So make sure you check us out on YouTube, Schwarzkopf Professional USA. That's where you're going to find this video and that's where you're going to find tons of additional education for Schwarzkopf Professional. So thank you so much again for watching this video. If you guys have any further questions, reach out to us on Facebook or Instagram, private message us. We'd be happy to get back to you. Thanks and have a great day.